focus, major part of your day actually goes on hands-on work on the instrument. In the design phase, most of your work will be on actually designing the circuits. And of course, in the early stages, it's more collaborative work with scientists, engineers, people from manufacturing. My role is as electrical engineer designing analog circuits, which are trying to push the boundaries of mass spectrometers. A typical day at the job as an electrical engineer for me, going in the lab where most of the design engineers are building their circuits and testing it out. The challenge of this role is that it has a large scope and then you should understand all parts of a system from different aspects, mechanical, electrical and chemistry, and then be able to actually solve the problem or design a new feature. The scientific and engineering town here is, is really unmatched globally. Every day I'm constantly amazed by the, the brilliance actually of the team and the new ideas being brought forward. There's an incredible uh, technical and scientific diversity. In addition to that, our team members are really made up of uh, really top experts around the globe. There are a lot of people from different uh, countries and different cultures and I am also one of them, which is, uh, really makes it more exciting to uh, work in such environment. Here is a very dynamic place to work. Their labs, their equipment, there is a lot of innovation going on and it will add uh, to your knowledge and you will get new skills every day. I have worked at Thermo Fisher for 10 years. I started at Thermo Fisher as an electrical engineer. And the reason I stay here is for the people and the growth opportunities. Given more opportunities, I'm slowly transitioning into system engineers. The amazing part of the R&D team at Thermo Fisher is that the team leads realize that if there is an engineer who is actually devoting his time to design a circuit and has more opportunities or has more bandwidth to grow, uh, to, to learn more about systems engineering, it's quite encouraged. You get to be both challenged as a scientist as well as knowing that what you're working on does good for the society.